Welcome to Small Potatoes Music TV. I'm Grayling Pingle. I'm Scott Arthur. And we have special guest Michael Sullivan with us today. Sully, how you doing? I'm doing good. And we're going to talk about, uh, we'll get started off with uh, um, how you got started or what inspired you to get out there and start playing. Now, he just retired, what, a uh, half a year ago? A year ago, a little over okay. a year. And, uh, and you started playing out, and you're playing quite a bit. Uh, well, let us have it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? <laughs> well, do you want to go see what it looks like? No, it looks great. Does it? <laughs> Look at it. Got three handsome guys <laughs> up here all snuggled in together. No, you don't think it's shrunk in? <laughs> no, it's shrunk. It's fine. Yeah, you don't, We're you don't think there's any shrinkage? This is, this is all loot to us. It's a little cold here. It's a little cold here. We're, we're not making that kind of I movie. I hate to tell you this, but we're live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's right. no fixing it now. <laughs> okay. Unless you really want to. No. <laughs> okay. Let, let's clap and go. We clapped and we're gone. We're gone man. <laughs> oh, okay. What was well, the question? Oh, we well, can start over. No, if no, you want. I got, I got, I get it. Um, what inspired me to get out and play? And truly, what what happened was uh, probably about two years ago, um, a, a friend of mine who I really didn't know that well, and and actually uh, he didn't know what I played, called me up, and said. I need to play at a vineyard in southern Wisconsin. Would you like to go in on a duel with me? And I said, well, sure. And then he said, what do you do? <laughs> That's kind of crazy. So, How much time did I you have? I play Homestrong. Well, it was going to be for four hours. <laughs> and uh, I said, well, I'm a guitar guy. He says, you know, I thought you were a drummer. Oh, that, no. That's how well he knew me. <laughs> and, and uh, well, we had met at, at this, this party. And, and he was playing, and, and I kind of told him that his sound was a little mush. And so, <laughs> so he wanted he to said, play with them. He this said, was, get out of here. <laughs> during, no, this was during a break, during a break. Oh, okay. And so he took that mid-range down a little bit, and okay. it cleaned it up, and it sounded great. Right. And mm -hmm. then afterwards, we were talking, and I explained that I would you know played a little bit. But obviously, he forgot what it was, and, and, uh, but he had my phone number that I'd given it to him. And so mm -hmm. he calls me and says, let's do this. And that was like in January that he calls me. We're not going to play till July. Um, okay. And I'm working full time. Uh, but he said, I don't want to rehearse. And I said, well, <laughs> okay. Uh, you, you, like... you just want to show up and you just want to go. Awesome. And, and he said, yeah, and there'll, there'll be a lot of people there. And I, said, well, <laughs> I said, that's great. It's I said, getting worse by the minute. <laughs> so, so we kind of went quiet for about three months, and then uh, I kind of raised my head up, and I said, why don't you send me 25 of your songs that you like to do, and I'll send you 25 of mine, okay. and then we'll kind of you know, go with it. Um, so we met that day in July at this vineyard in southern Wisconsin. The day you played. The day we played. Okay. We yeah. don't want to rehearse. No, no. Because no. oh, there's going to be a lot of people there. I, <laughs> yeah, I, right. I, I, Why would you want to do that? I, I, <laughs> I plugged that guild in, and uh, he said, because he wanted to see what he had here. Sure. He says, you go first. <laughs> Thank you. And, and so I started playing and played a song. And he says, you know, play another one. I did, and pretty soon... Um, I, I like five or six in a row, and he's he's kind of <laughs> sprinkling in a little bit of lead there. Right. Nice, and then nice. then we went back and forth, and um, it was so funny because I hadn't played out in so long um, that I was pretty excited and uh, wouldn't let him take a break. And, and, <laughs> and uh, when we were all done, four hours later, he says, wow. "I've never done this before. Not take a break. I just want you to know." And, uh, you guys didn't take a break in no, the fork? No, oh, we didn't take we didn't cow. take a break. Wow, it's funny and, you're still playing music <laughs> after wow, a gig like that. Wow, man, four hours straight. Well, it was it was hilarious, and I mean for me, I thought it was I was all charged up. Yeah, right, yeah. right. But uh, right. but but Jim was a little little tuckered out there, and that's and, cool. Uh, that you know, but you, you that got the gave me going. that gave me the incentive because he invited me to play at and uh, is it Andrews's Andrews's in up at Howard. Okay. Was, mm -hmm. uh, went yep. up there with him about a month later, and uh, he invited me in to sit with him, and we kind of <laughs> did the same thing, only we took breaks. Yeah. And uh, that gave me uh, kind of the incentive to go, you know, what am I waiting for? I think. Yeah. You I, did it. You can do it again. I, right? I, I, maybe right. I should not yeah. hold off and jump right. in. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> so that's what I did. I retired and uh, came out full time. 
Okay. Sounds good. So you just went like from that strange gig to full time? <laughs> no, actually, I met a guy from uh, from uh, from Clintonville through through Scott, and he's sitting right here. <laughs> and we had uh, coffee. At we the had new coffee moon. at the New Moon Cafe. Is it the New Moon? Yeah. Oh, the New Moon Cafe. New Moon Moon Cafe in Oshkosh, in Oshkosh. Where he's from. And I was picking your brain. Because yeah. I knew I was going to go do this. Yeah. And you were gracious to come down and uh, yeah, it was fun talk time. to me. It was fun, yeah. And uh, Have some coffee, talk shop. That's what it does. Get excited, you know? right? Get excited. Well, well there's steps that you got to take, you know. Yeah. As you're gonna, if you're going to go into this, uh, then you start going around and you talk to people that, have, that are doing it. Yeah. And how do, you, how, do you, how do you get ready for it? That's the way to do it. You know, when I when I do stuff with promotion or anything, I usually ch- check uh, what other people, even famous people or whatever, what are you doing with your photographs? You can go and look at, you can research what they're doing and you can find out, okay, these shots don't look that good or these shots are good and find out what you like and you can sort of copy what they're doing, you know, sort of. But you can still make it your own. You, it's going to be your own no matter what. Oh, it's going to be your own no matter what, and and that's the whole thing. You you you've just got to be yourself, and um, you know, when I was going to do this, the the first thing to me was a sound quality, uh, and and sound that equipment that would last a long time, mm-hmm. and so I knew the kind of equipment that you had, and I yeah. went to Scott, and we spent hours and hours and hours that at Island fun. Music in New London, um, going through all the different variations of of equipment that you can buy. Right. And and fitting it into what would be good for me. Yeah. And <clears throat> that that took a couple months. And I have the Fishman Artist amp, and I think you, you have the same amp now, I right? bought the <clears throat> same amp you've got. And I got yeah. a performer now, too. I It's still in the box sitting right there, actually. <laughs> but Scott's from probably selling a lot of those Fishman since, since people, we got them. The, well, They're awesome little amps. Well, people see you guys amps. using them, and, yeah. and it, the proof is in that. It, yeah. If, if somebody's got a lot of gigs on it, and it sounds as good as what you guys do. I mean, let's face it, that's that's the best promotion possible. We'll I have mean, to do a video on really my is. Fishman sometime yeah, and just look at how tore up it is. It's all shredded on the edges and stuff. It yeah. still sounds great. We just cleaned it up at the store about yeah. a week or so ago, and it sounds really, really great. Yeah. Do you, um, do so you that's our like, plug for Fishman. <laughs> do, you, do you feel like that the, the sort of the networking thing was – one of the bigger steps you took once you decided to go play? Do you feel like that oh. talking to Grayling, going to the store, spending some time, making sure you're not spending a bunch of money until you kind of know what you need, talking to friends and acquaintances? I mean, actually, in a way, the networking is what got you the first gig with Jim. It's, I mean, it, in a way. It's, so. yep. my, my whole <clears throat> getting out and, and, and having some success has been because of networking. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it's meeting the Definitely. guy, and then you know I'm meeting Grayling, and mm-hmm. I knew you for several years. Chopper, but, but through all these, all these you know, like then, then Chopper comes along, and, yeah. and uh, it was so funny because uh, he called me up one day after I had retired, and in, in, uh, I retired November 30th of a year ago, and okay. and uh, in January of last year, Chopper calls me up, and I don't really know the man that well yeah. at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he calls me up and says uh, again, "What what kind of music do you do? Kind of like, you know, yeah, yeah. What do you do?" And I, I said, "Well, a little Van Morrison, a little Petty, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, John Prine. Um, I, I, you know, I do all kinds of people and Everly Brothers, uh, you know, everybody." Uh, he said, "Well, I'm going over to Bare Bones right now. I'm going to be talking to the owner over there at Bare Bones and." Um, would you would you be willing to play if I get you in there? Mm-hmm. It'd be a freebie. You, you're gonna because you're for, yep. you, you don't know anybody. Nobody knows you. You and that's the thing. Be willing to give those things away for nothing for a while for a to while. get your get your gigs going. Yep. And if you're worthy, then they'll bring you back. Um, so and I that said, worked for you. It worked for me. Right. But it right. should work for everybody. It worked because, for me too. I did yep. some farmers markets, some open mics, so. Mm-hmm for free don't be afraid to to play for free actually you should want to uh if you want to get out and play um but what happened was then about an hour later um chopper called me back and said you're playing friday night for two hours and and that was wednesday yeah yeah that's awesome so i was thrilled you know and and 
I was getting ready. I was already practicing. I was already I was laying in the weeds and being a little shy about getting out there. But I was playing yeah. at, at the house. I was playing yeah. a lot. So, and that's the thing. If you're gonna go do this stuff, you gotta be ready. You gotta put some time in. You gotta you gotta yeah. play every day. Yeah. You, you gotta be ready. Yeah. And then it took off from there. Chopper went around to the bars all over the valley and New London and. Berlin and and I was playing you know? free all over the place. We <laughs> <laughs> got you a lot of gigs, right? Hey, Chopper, we got, I got to say something about Chopper. Hi, Chopper. But uh, Chopper. Chopper's a Chopper. we all know Chopper, and uh, um, he wide. plays harmonica, harp, and uh, he sets up gigs for me, and he sets up stuff, and he plays with us too. He'll hop in and play. He played Friday. Hey, he played Friday and Saturday night with me, oh. and uh, Scott played Saturday mm -hmm. night, and. Uh, but Chopper's got a thing going now called Rowdy Rooster Entertainment, where he's going to start booking bands and artists, solo artists, and uh, doing festivals and whatever he can come up with. And yeah. he's really good at promoting stuff. Yeah, he's so. a guy you want on your team. Yeah, I mean, that's, he's really that's good. just it. If, if somebody needs to get something done, he'll do it. I mean, if he yeah. had to move the house across the street, he'd do it for yeah. you. You know, it's just that kind of thing. <laughs> he's an awesome guy. What so do, what do you think about, you, you mentioned that, um, you know, Petty, some other artists that you were doing, but what direction do you think your music's heading in now? Uh, now that you've played about 80 gigs last year, you took a little bit of time off to work on original music, right? right, right. Is that Do you think that you're going to head a little bit more into the originals direction or at least mix more of them into your show? I yeah. think people enjoy them. I know I do. Well, year, years ago I lived in Nashville, and I, I used to write down there. And then uh, you, you get on with life and you... you, you get busy so you don't Go really have much time to <laughs> do much you know yeah. and, but now I'm at the age where I, I got a lot of time and um, I want to I want to see what Sully can do yeah right on and so m my inspiration right now is to to be original mm -hmm. and um, put together a two-hour solid set of original stuff I'm getting there mm -hmm. I'll probably be there by uh, the end of the month or middle of February where I can just go out and do it. Awesome. You know what? Um, With and the that's... doing a couple of hours of things, like I do a couple hours of other local artists, you could get people together like that and do a show yep. where you don't need to have like four hours, but you know, we could go and play a show at a club together yep. and yeah, each do right. a couple hours. You yeah. wouldn't need the whole night. Play play an hour and a half, take a break, switch artists, and there you go. You got two Two you know. people to go see. It's good for the venue, good for the artists, and good for the crowd. You know, and it's all originals. And or it's all originals, originals yeah. if you want it that way. Well, right. we got we got to talk right. about that mm -hmm. because there's venues out there that really just want original stuff. Yeah, um, they're shying away <laughs> from the, the licensing fees, and I get it. it it's expensive, so uh, you got to have you got to be able to do both. Um, if you can go in there and say, hey, "Look, I got two hours of solid originals, good stuff." Uh, I think you'll be happy. Um, they'll mm -hmm. bring you in. Yeah. But then you've also got the other bars that love the cover stuff, and and I right. I, I like doing that stuff too. You want to be able to sprinkle it all over and make it an entertaining night. It is kind mm -hmm. of a kind of a tough line to walk because there are a lot of people that want certain songs. They're used to hearing these songs, and they're their favorite songs, and yeah. and people get used to hearing cover bands too. So right. yeah, That's, do you do you guys find that? Well, it kind of maybe you kind of already answered that in a way, but. Do you guys find that there's certain nights where it's like, man, these guys are just eating up my originals. I'm going to, we're doing original music three, four in a row, whatever. Friday or maybe night. it's people are familiar. Yeah, right on. Friday that, night was like Was uh, it like that? Yeah. So you found originals were just working I, Pretty for much anything that yeah, was yeah, working. Well, hey, now, there's nothing wrong with that. But otherwise, there's yeah. nights where it's obvious. You're like, well, looks like I'm playing every Van Morrison song I know or, or well, whatever. Well, Not I, that that's a bad thing, but just that right. there's some nights are... Or they want country, you know. Depends on where okay. you are. I mean, yep. sometimes you don't know what you're getting into. It's like this is a country place, and yeah. they want country. And it's like, oh, well, I don't have much country. Mm -hmm. Full well, that gets back here a little we come. Bit, yeah, right, and come around again, right? <laughs> right. But that 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 gets uh, that gets back to a little bit about what you talked about being prepared. You got to be prepared. So if if you you know you can love your originals and do them well. But if you sign up for a gig and then maybe you, through networking or talking to the owner, you get a feeling that. 
they're they're probably going to want to hear Ring of Fire or something. Yeah, then you, you, you well, better not go in there and, and shove something else down their throat. Otherwise, <laughs> you shouldn't you should take a different game, yeah. right? Gray, yeah. Grayling, okay. you know, he's he's the guy that's been out there forever. But I I see it too. You when you're playing, you're looking out there and you're seeing you're looking for interaction there. And if yeah. and if it's not there. Then you gotta go on to something different. Then you're flipping through your songs. Sometimes, you know, it yeah. matters on the venue. Actually, you know, I yeah. said you never know what you're getting into, but really, most times you do because either someone asks you to play for a party, a private party, corporate party, or you, if you're booking something, I always look on Facebook or their website to see what kind of venue it is because yeah. you might be going somewhere that, you know, like country music, you're, you're always going to have certain people that like country, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. or certain people that like classic rock. Up here, anyway, classic rock's really big. Yeah. So, but you can kind of get an idea what's going on at a venue online pretty mm -hmm. fast. And that's preparation, you know? too. Yeah. That's just actually. It only takes a couple minutes right. to click Facebook and check out what right. the venue's about and. That you can know, make a big see difference between there. when you sit down you click and start on their playing. Events. Yeah, you click on their events and you can see, okay, uh, what is it, uh, like Feather Wolf is playing there or something, then you know, mm -hmm. you, sort of. If you don't know what they're doing, then go and go check Feather out. Wolf right, out and right, see what they're playing. Right. Well, what are the last 10 bands they had right. there or something? Yeah, yeah. 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 That and makes a lot of sense. I mean, I have, I have a... I have country set list, blues set list. You know, all this <laughs> 60 set list stuff is yep. just... All I gotta do is move right over to and, it. And by watching the room and and your experience, the collective experience, what you've done, what you've done, you're looking in the room and you know, like, well, this things are leaning this way. It's it's time for me to just run with it and let's make sure everyone has a good time. And next week when I play X that wants all my originals, that's when they're coming out yeah. or something like that. You know, that. there's always these times where, uh, like you said, you kind of feel the room out. I played at a corporate party about a couple, maybe a month and a half ago, and it was pretty big. And I was the guy in the corner the whole night. I didn't mm -hmm. say one word the whole night. I didn't mm -hmm. introduce myself. I was playing music when the people were walking in. Mm -hmm. There was no tables. Everyone was walking around. Well, they had tables like, what do you call them, like cocktail tables where okay. you stood around yep. Mm -hmm. yep. and food set up everywhere. So there was no seating. Mm -hmm. Everyone stood up for the whole show. And it wasn't really like a show. It was more like they needed music to entertain their guests. Mm -hmm. So they were mingling and talking and stuff. I'm not going to be like, hey, you know, who wants to hear right. Freebird, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, I'll play the music. They're enjoying their company. And, yep. and you know, sometimes people want to talk and they don't want a big show and they don't want to interact as much, right. you know? And if everyone's leaning in right to their ear, you're too loud and things like that. You got to watch for that yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's a good point is, yeah. is no one... Being willing to look at some of that stuff and know that tonight just might not be the night for me to rowdy it You're up or whatever. You're the guy in the corner right? tonight. Right. Yeah, that's right. what I and, and that's okay, the the right? Corner. I mean, yeah, and that, I mean, that's all right. It's kind of weird sometimes, you know, if you want that interaction, though, like every every t gig ain't the hometown grill or like yeah. beer bones yeah. sometimes or whatever, you yeah. know. Hmm. But, uh. You want it to be though. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, hoping. Yeah, right. right. You're, you're you're hoping they're not fifty feet know, away. Maybe maybe in a way it's good that they're not because then those those ones that are like that are really awesome. Right. Every, yeah, there's, there <laughs> has to be flying, a, you know? right, right, right. And yeah. being putting your best foot forward though, uh, that's something you and I talked about a long time ago. Is extra effort every time and putting your best foot forward at every gig. So even though maybe that one you're like. Wow, I, I wish this was like the other night when everybody was doing this or that. Not letting it, not letting it show through enough. Maybe that that you still do a really good professional thing, and you do hopefully what's expected of you and what people enjoy. That's really important, maybe even for the next gig too, because right. who knows who's there? It's it's you, it doesn't mean that because maybe you you're not having that that type of night that you're also mailing it in. You're also right. still doing the best you can at every gig, making sure that it's professionalism above everything else. Oh, I mean, that's should. why you, you guys book and play yeah. as many gigs as you do, right? Well, I wanted I mean, to say, you've only been doing this for like a year, a year, and he's already played 80 gigs last year. That's quite a bit for the first well, year out. That sounds yeah. like inspiration so, to me. <laughs> so, you know, as he was out there doing it, you know, and so that's, that's what it takes. And a lot of I know a lot of people that are talented that are around here. Mm -hmm. And they, they want to do it, but they're just not doing it. And well, that's the only difference is they're just not doing it. They're not knocking on the doors. 
Yeah, they're not the taking the steps gonna call you to up. do it. No. Yeah, right. You, yeah, you, you got to go do the yeah. face-to-face yeah. and have the conversation. I don't know if it's that. You want someone to encourage you enough, and maybe after somebody encourages you like 26 times, maybe yeah. the first 25 weren't enough, you need that 26th one or something to get you to actually take uh, steps in that direction to do it. But, uh, well, this Melissa that played with us. Uh, sorry, Melissa, I forgot your last Kluber name. Kluber Okay. What was that? Kluber Tance. <laughs> She's fantastic. Okay. Just call her Mel. She played with us. She just came. We met her in the club the other night. And I've been friends with her on Facebook for a little while, but I never met her. And at a bar, but another friend of us introduced us at uh, the bar the other night. And she came up and played the second set and then basically the rest of the night. Yeah. And, and it was great. Was it was great because the songs. So much fun. Yeah. The songs just felt different. In a good way, you know, they were they were different, but just because she's a different player, yeah. but she just jumped right in there and played, and she was playing solos and whatever, and we had a blast, no, you know? No, it was a riot. It was Definitely. doing that. That's, that's another another thing that I think is really cool about, if you have, uh, and in this show thing that we're doing here, I kind of want to promote this as musicians getting together with other musicians. We do this at the store all the time. Mm -hmm. Like Scott came in, Scott manages Island Music, Island Music, Island Music, (laughs) New London. uh, Anyway, and he came in tonight to do this and uh, and said, oh, Kirby was in and who else? Uh, Chopper, was Chopper there? Yeah, Paul was there. All these guys were in, Sully was there at the store and I'm like, oh dang, I was gonna come in. You know, so the music store is kind of like a little hangout for us, but we gotta get a coffee pot. We do. A big part of Small Potatoes idea too really um was your idea and I I love it is is trying to help people and that right. and that and Sully's a great example of trying to get out there whether you take a little bit of information from him about maybe not being afraid to ask a buddy that's got a gig if you could even play three songs and open for him sure. or 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 if, if or, or if even he can I play bone your church. amp for my harmonica yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> or whatever <laughs> you know right, the, right. you got a couple amps laying around and your buddy needs to borrow an amp let him use it you know well, right. just stuff like that it can really help out I mean I I when I started doing this uh, I started going around to everybody that I could find that was gigging. Yeah. And during their set break, I'd go up to him, like like a guy from Fond Lake, Kip Jones, tremendous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Kip doesn't know me, but he does folk, you right? know, uh, well, he does everything. Okay, he, he's 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 amazing. Uh, but I wanted to talk to him about sound and you know subwoofers and stuff like that, and you know and how he was running it and feedback and you know these guys will sit and sit down with you for twenty minutes while they're taking a break or fifteen mm-hmm. whatever, and just Tell you everything you want to know. Yep. So you yep. got to go to the gigs and talk to these people. Yeah, and then don't you be become afraid to ask. Don't, don't be afraid, afraid to ask. ask. Right. Because we all want to share what we know. Yep. Well, and that, that kind of leads up to maybe, at least maybe a little bit about what you're going to be doing, at least I think it's February 6th. Yeah. Um, something just just south of New London. I guess it's still New London. Great. I'm going right to be hosting there. that one. Yep. You'll be there. Well, Chopper's okay. starting this, so yeah, <laughs> Chopper's right. coming up yeah. again. So it'd, be, it'd be an opportunity <clears throat> if you want to talk to Sully, maybe, uh, come out or see a bunch of other right. musicians and yeah. and either ask some questions that maybe you have from, from watching what we did here today or just something that comes up. You know, it doesn't yeah. have to be sound at a bar, a coffee house, or whatever. It can be about what's the best thing for me to do if I want to play my acoustic guitar in church or well, actually or, yeah you know so well, this, i do a this, lot of that stuff this will be at huckleberry acres huckleberry okay. Cam- huckleberry campground i guess huckleberry it's campground it's just uh south of new london on county w um if you google huckleberry campgrounds you can get a map out there uh but i'm chopper set it up he's bringing a pa system i have a nice thomas silver star kit over here we're going to be using that uh whoever has guitars bring your own instrument to play Mm-hmm. You know, it's going to be sort of like an of open people. mic thing, but maybe a jam thing too. So who I know I'm going to play drums and I'll maybe play a few songs. You awesome, know? man. You can play a few. We can all just play together, yeah. whatever. But I mean, if you just want to come out and hang out and watch or I guarantee you'll see there, some good jams, some good music or jump in and play. I mean, some of the people we talked about today will be there, right? I mean, yeah, if you're scared to play in front of people, you won't be by the time you get yeah. <laughs> get done that night. <laughs> right. It would be right. a good way to get up there because other people around there will encourage you to play. Right. So, we can answer questions too, whatever. Yeah. Either way, it should be a good time. Yeah. It would be a blast actually. And Sully um, will have the 
this here guild there, I think, probably, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, let's, what can let's you tell us about guild. this guitar, man? Well, this, this is a... This is a Gill D twenty five M with a mahogany. Let's bring her up a little. And uh, yeah, we're kind of cut off at the knees here. It's it's my go to. I I bought it new in Nashville back in nineteen eighty, awesome. and uh, it's pretty much until I bought that Taylor in mm -hmm. October, I guess the only guitar that I pretty much have ever played. I when I. When I got going, I uh, I still have it. It's a, it's my first guitar was a Norma. It's okay, like a Sears and Roebuck one. type thing that they made. I don't know was if they made acoustic? them in Japan or it's called Norma. Was it acoustic guitar though? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. And up on the top here it says Norma. And you still have it though? Oh yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Which is cool. And that's what a lot I of guitar guys don't. I, bought, I think I bought it in '74, and that's what I learned to play guitar on, and. Uh, and so I still have it, but then I got down to Nashville, and eventually I bought this, and this is all I've played for uh, 38 years. It, it and, sounds great. And I you're mean, playing it's got this some miles live on it. Too, right? it's, it's awesome. Yeah, this is I play. Your... This is all I. Yeah, this is what I play live. I, I do bring the tailor with me, and in case something happened. Great. But I did <laughs> stick a uh, an Infinity Matrix pickup in there from Fishman. Uh, it's it's. They're great, Crap. man. I have one, too. It's they're just, awesome. It's just so easy to make it's, them sound good. Yeah, it's they're the best. excellent. Almost any acoustic guitar with that yeah. Matrix Infinity. And if you want to get one in your guitar, great. you can go to Island Music. <laughs> Island Music. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> we'll cram it in there somehow. So, we'll get that pickup in that guitar no matter what. <laughs> but this is, this is what I play. Yeah. We love it, Sully. It's I do, cool. too. I, well, what do cool. you think? Do you want to play a couple songs? I do. Sure. What do you think, really? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Let's play. Let's do. Let's All play. right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fly away 
dance with me Come with me, let's fly away Dance with me Come with me, let's fly away Let's fly away Let's fly away It sure has been nice having Sully up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, don't forget, if you have questions or anything that we talked about, um, you can always get a hold of Sully through Facebook, your, your Facebook channel, or you can come out and see him on yeah. February 6th. I, mean, uh, I got a website and yeah, stuff like yeah, that too. Right. And that's kind of why we're doing this. Um, yeah. So we encourage you, if you have questions for him, get in touch with him. Um, uh, or, or like I say, come out and see him in person, and you can see what gear he's using, and take it from there. And hear those awesome songs. Yeah, I want yeah. mine jamming. I, I was thinking when you were recording that uh, Little Bird, I was like, I want mine doing this song in my set. If you don't mind, take it. Really? Oh yeah. That's Absolutely. another thing. That's another thing we can do is uh, if you like somebody else's song, play it. You know. Yeah, as long I mean, as they're okay with it. Yeah, right. Because it's a good song. I mean, I'd, I'd like to do It'd it. It'd be fun to hear some more originals I'd like from to hear Sully. That. Well, like... you know, you know, there's other people that may show up on your TV here eventually. Mel Klubertance, who's a songwriter, mm -hmm. uh, plays the keys great, and she's coming out with a CD here pretty soon. Awesome. Um, and another one that she's working on, she actually took a song of mine called uh, Cold in the City. Oh, yeah. Right and on. did a little different arrangement on it, which is great. And she yeah. asked me if she could put it on her CD, and I said, oh, absolutely. Awesome. Oh, yeah. that's so, great. So, uh, you know, it's a, the musician world out here is real friendly, especially here yeah. in this area. Well, that's what uh, we're focused on, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Melissa just came out with an album, too, um, that jammed on keyboards the other night well that's so Mel. that's what he's talking about oh okay yep yeah. yep okay. Yep. i don't yep. know her by mel so yeah she goes it. by <laughs> same person well and, and her professional name is is <laughs> professional name is melissa lee klubertans okay but like people that are friends of mine call me sully i wonder why we, we call yeah. we, we call her mel yeah okay mel okay you should have her on we will, probably. Yeah. He had her on stage. We had her on stage. <laughs> <laughs> it was a riot, that's for sure. So, uh, any more about those new songs you just did? Uh, little Bird was one of them. And, uh, I'm a Little Lost. I'm a Little Lost, yeah. Those are both really good songs. Um, anything else you got, Scott? I'm wondering, what is, what's your catalog of originals now? Uh, how many, how, yeah, I mean, you don't have to, you know. Where I'm at, I, I probably, in the last few months, I've got about 18. Okay. And I want to do about 30 uh, to the point where when I go out and put together a CD, I got a big basket to pick songs from. Yeah. Sure. And But n you know, not only that, I can go out and play them. Right, you and, know, and, and know that you got a couple hours of be, original Be solo or take a band out, yeah. and um, you, then you got you got a lot. But the songwriting thing is uh, it's a ton of fun. You know, you it do is. it, it's and uh, you get into the groove of writing, and uh, you might as well take advantage of it while they're hot. Last yeah. night, um, we are talking about songwriting. Last night, I was kind of bored, and I did a little lesson thing online and uh then i pulled out an old song well it's not that old catalina yeah, and i yeah. started doing that in almost like a rockabilly style just totally different i like taking that sometimes i'll find lyrics that i've got a song and maybe i like it but i think you know i want to just touch it up a little bit because there's certain parts of it i'm not really settled on mm -hmm. but and then sometimes i'll just say i wonder what this would sound like just totally different Keeping the keeping the lyrics pretty much the same, but just try a totally different style, mm -hmm. different chords, everything. Just like completely throw out the music you had for it, and mm -hmm. just try something totally different. And I was really liking it, but you know, then, I, but now I already put it out there on video, so people would, in their <laughs> minds would be like, "This is Catalina. This oh. is, it's totally different." 
It's but a new model year. I almost like, yeah. <laughs> just like, well, that one's 67, yeah, Catalina. Right. Now, now i got to change one of those yeah, songs. the Detroit Auto Show just happened. Now it's time for the new Catalina. Well, Bob Dylan <laughs> does that at every concert. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just every same concert song, different does. music. He changes the way he wants I, to I bet you the band has fun with that, too, really. Yeah. I mean, I bet you a lot of times the band, when he throws those corners at them, they probably, they probably get and a there's, kick out There's of a lot of bands that do the uh, different songs with the same music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's right. It's like yeah. three chords. Yeah. yeah, me for example. <laughs> Capo, fourth fret. No, I don't know. But anyway, I, that's about wraps it up, huh? Yeah, it does. That's our our debut show, Small Potatoes Music TV. Sully, thanks that's for Sully. coming in, man. Thanks yeah. for having hey, me. Good job. Good job. Yeah, you bet. We'll see you next time. We're gonna try to do these things. Well, hopefully every week. We won't be able to do it every week, but we'll try to get them out as often as possible, as often as we have something to talk about. So yeah, right on. Stick around. Thanks for watching. See ya.